Hello students, today we are going to perform a practical to find out the internal resistance of a primary cell with the help of potentiometer. First is aim to determine the internal resistance of a given primary cell by using the potentiometer. The required apparatus are driver cell. For this driver cell, we are using the battery eliminator. This one is a millimeter, a one way key, a rheostat. This one is a primary cell. And for this primary cell, we are using the Laclanche cell. A small resistance box, one way key, large resistance box of the range of 20,000 ohm a galvanometer and a jockey. This one is a potentiometer. So, these are the required apparatus. The length of the potentiometer wire is 400 centimeter. Potentiometer is having the two ends. This one is A end and B end. Now, joining of the apparatus. At point A, we are joining the positive terminal of the battery eliminator or we can say driver cell with this negative terminal of the driver cell it is connected to the negative terminal of the millimeter and the positive terminal of the millimeter one way key and rheostat and terminal B. This one is a fixed circuit. At this other end we are using the Laclanche cell. In a Laclanche cell we have having a electrolyte and the electrolyte is NH4Cl and a red rod of a positive. The positive rod is carbon rod and the negative rod is of zinc. This resistance box galvanometer and jockey. Now, what is the purpose of this galvanometer? Galvanometer is a device by which we can detect the presence of current in a circuit. This is jockey. The purpose of jockey is to slide over the potentiometer wire. A resistance box and a key is joined in parallel to this primary cell. A resistance box and a key is joined in parallel to this primary cell. Now the condition for the working of a potentiometer, E dash should be greater than E. The potential difference of this battery eliminator is always greater than the potential difference of this primary cell we are adjusting the potential difference of this battery eliminator at 4 volt and the EMF of this primary cell is 1.5 volt. Second, all the positive terminals are connected at the same point. The positive terminal of this auxiliary battery and the positive terminal of this primary cell must be connected at the one point. Only in that condition when both the positive terminals are connected at the same point, we are able to find out the deflection in both side. Now how to perform the practical? First of all, we have to check either our corrections are right or wrong. For this, we have to put this jockey at point A. For example, the deflection in the galvanometer is to the left side, then we have to put this jockey at point B, then the deflection in the galvanometer must be on the right side. It means at the two ends of the potentiometer wire, the deflection in the galvanometer must be in two opposite directions. EMF of the cell is E, internal resistance is R. Now what is internal resistance? Internal resistance of a cell is the resistance which is provided by the cell internally. It is denoted by small r. This is due to the electrolyte nature of the electrodes concentration of electrolyte, current in the circuit is I and the external resistance in the circuit is R. In open circuit, when this key is open, then no current will flow from this resistance box. So it measures the EMF is directly proportional to N1, so E is equals to KL1. When we switch on this key, then this reads the terminal potential difference. So, V is directly proportional to L2 or V is equals to KL2. And the expression for internal resistance of the cell is R is equal to E by V minus 1 into R. 
the expression for internal resistance is R is equal to E by V minus 1 into R by putting the value of KL1 and KL2 it becomes L1 by L2 minus 1 into R. So, this one is the expression for internal resistance. Now, we are going to perform the practical apparatus. This is the experimental setup to find out the internal resistance of a primary cell with the help of potentiometer. This one is our potentiometer. The total length of this potentiometer wire is 400 centimeter. This one is the scale. The length of this scale is 50 centimeter. So, 0 to 50 centimeter, 50 to 100, this is 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400. The total length of potentiometer wire is 400 centimeter, that is 4 meter. Now, we have to check either our circuit is correct or not. For this, we are having the two ends of this potentiometer. From one end of the potentiometer, we are joining the positive terminal of the battery eliminator. This one is our battery eliminator. From the negative terminal of this battery eliminator, we are joining a milliameter. From the positive terminal of this milliameter, we are joining the rheostat. From the another terminal of the rheostat, we are joining a one way key. From one way key, we are joining the another terminal of the potentiometer. From one side, a battery eliminator is there, a milliameter to measure the current, a rheostat, a one way key, and another terminal of the potentiometer. Now, we have to join the Laclanche cell in the circuit. This is the cell which is having electrolyte NH4Cl. Anode is the porous port in which carbon rod is acting as a anode, zinc rod is acting as a negative terminal that is cathode and we have to find out the internal resistance of this Laclanche cell. From one end of the potentiometer at which we are joining the positive terminal of the battery eliminator, at the same terminal we have to join the positive terminal of the Laclanche cell. It means as we have already discussed positive terminal of the battery eliminator and the positive terminal of the Laclanche cell will be connected at the same point of the potentiometer. From the cathode that is zinc rod, we are connecting the positive end of the galvanometer and from the negative end of the galvanometer, we are joining the large resistance box which is having a value of 5000 ohm and from this resistance box, we are joining the jockey in the circuit. This one is the complete experimental setup of potentiometer to find out the internal resistance of the cell. Now, we are going to check the working of the potentiometer to find out the internal resistance. First of all, we have to check either our circuit is correct or not. For this, we have to switch on the battery eliminator. We have already set up this battery eliminator at 4 volt because we have already discussed voltage that is the potential difference of the battery eliminator is always greater than the potential difference of the Laclanche cell. Only in that condition, the deflection in the galvanometer will be in opposite direction. Now, we have to check either our circuit is right or wrong. For this, switch on the key K1 and switch on the battery eliminator which is already set at 4 volt. The reading of the milliameter is 90 milliampere. If our circuit is right, then the deflection in the galvanometer will be in opposite direction when we touch the jockey on the first wire and the last wire. So, on the first wire, the deflection is on the left side and on the last wire, the deflection is on the right. So, our circuit is ok. Now, we are going to take the first reading. For the safety point of view, we are drawn out a resistance of 2000 ohm from the large resistance box due to which our galvanometer is saved from the large current. 
now k2 is open ki k2 is open now check the deflection in the galvanometer on the first wire the deflection is on the left side on the second wire it becomes left on the third wire it is also on the left side on the fourth wire it is left but it is very much closer to the zero point and on the fifth wire it is also on the left side on the sixth wire on the right side so it means deflection on the fifth wire becomes zero now we have to calculate the accurate position of the null point this is the accurate position of the null point with the help of a scale we can calculate the actual value and this reading is 26 each wire is of length of 50 cm total number of wire 1 2 3 4 to the fourth wire the total length is 200 cm and the null point is obtained at 26 means total length of the wire is 226 cm now to find out the accurate position we put the key of 2000 ohm in the resistance box and again check the deflection in the galvanometer now it becomes zero at this value this is 231 the null point is obtained at 231 centimeter when we plug the key of 2000 ohm in the resistance box now put the key k2 and once again down out the resistance of 2000 ohm and apply a resistance of 1 ohm in the circuit check the deflection in the galvanometer on the first wire on the left side on the second wire it is on the right side so deflection on the first wire at a length of 41 43 centimeter it becomes zero the position of the galvanometer is zero when the balancing length is 43 centimeter to check the accuracy we put the resistance of 2000 ohm in the resistance box and again check the deflection in the galvanometer now the deflection in the galvanometer is zero at 46 centimeter the deflection in the galvanometer becomes zero at 46 centimeter this is the first set of our observations now for the second set of observation we have to change the position of rheostat by which we can adjust the value of current at 110 milli ampere k1 switch is on now remove the key k2 and apply a resistance of 2 ohm in the circuit again drawn out the resistance of 2000 ohm from the resistance box to save the galvanometer from the large current the deflection in the on the first wire is on the left side the deflection on the second wire is also on the left side the deflection on the third wire is also on the left side the deflection on the fourth wire is now on right so we are too much closer to the null point so by frisking the jockey over this wire we can find out the null point position and at this point the deflection in the galvanometer is zero this position is 175.5 because first wire is of 50 centimeters second wire third wire the total length of these three wire is 150 plus 25.5 so total length is 175.5 now to check the accuracy we put the resistance of 2000 ohm in the resistance box now we don't worry to save the galvanometer because we are too much closer to the null point and once again the position of the null point is this one and this one is at 
31.5 that means due to the presence of 3 wires the total length is 150 150 plus 31.5 181.5. Now, we put this key K2, the circuit is closed, once again drawn out the resistance of 2000 ohm and put the jockey over the first wire on the left side, on the second wire it is on the right side. So, to find out the position of the null point, we slide the jockey over the first wire and it becomes 0 at 44, at 44 centimeter deflection in the galvanometer is 0. Now, put the resistance of 2000 ohm in the resistance box and again slide the jockey over this wire and now the deflection becomes 0 at 47 centimeter. The deflection becomes 0 at 47 centimeter. So, in this way we can calculate the different values for the further readings we can run out the resistance of 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm and 6 ohm from the resistance box and we can calculate the different values of internal resistance. So, students as we have performed the practical in our lab and the internal resistance of the primary cell is varying with resistance from 4.13, 5.84, 5.77, 6.36, 5.68. The internal resistance of the cell is continuously varying as we are using the cell continuously. So, no need to take the mean of internal resistance. Thus, in our Leclanche cell, the internal resistance of the cell is varying from 4.13 ohm to 6.36 ohm. Thank you.